At this point, I have all the basic needs taken care of in order to play this session. Since I still have time before my group gets together to game, I've added some more bells and whistles to the campaign. For instance, I have added some audio tracks to the jukebox. This feature streams music via SoundCloud. You can have multiple tracks running at the same time. For the tavern page, I've added a mild Celtic ditty to play in the background, as well as an ambient tavern chatter noise track. For the sewers page, I've selected a creepy music track. Accompanying that is a rushing water ambient track, as well as some cave sound effects. I'm also going to block out areas of the battle map. I've placed some fog of war over the living working area of the tavern so my player's initial attention will stay within the confines of the bar area. I'll clear more fog away if the PCs eventually explore the tavern proper. For the sewer page, I used roll 20s subscription feature, Dynamic Lighting, to block line of sight for the PCs. This way, the dungeon is revealed to them only in small increments as they move their tokens around the tabletop. I've also created a landing page to stash the player ribbon on. Once invited to your campaign, your players can enter it whenever they like, even if the GM isn't present. If you create a landing page, then they won't be given the opportunity to meta the module you've created. For the purposes of some house rules I use, I created an infinite card deck that looks like a poker chip. I'll be able to deal these out during the game and let my players use them as narrative currency. That's enough stalling. Next, we'll walk through how to find some players, get them invited to the campaign, and set a date for your game.